John MacArthur is a lying devil. He's a false prophet. He teaches a false gospel and needs to be called out be just for one reason, because of his popularity. There's a lot of people who listen to him. He's got a study Bible and people look up to him. And his teaching, it's not new to him. This isn't something that he just came up with. This is, a, this is actually a popular teaching among many people and it needs to be addressed, and we need to understand why it's wrong and why it's false. Now, before I even go any further, I just want to explain real briefly why I come out real strong, and I'll use strong language against, you know, just come right off the bat saying he's a heretic, he's a devil, he's a false prophet. Amen. You say, well, you know, can't you just explain the doctrine and just have differences? No, it's important to, to call out these people for what they really are. And it's important not to be deceived into thinking that, well, he's really not that bad, but he just believes a little bit different. So what? You believe a little bit different. You know, no. For one, the Bible talks about people who are false prophets. It talks about them, you know, deceiving people and being deceived. And, um, you know, he's not, when you have prophets, when you have people who are getting a following and they're teaching salvation and, and they're leading people astray and he's heard the truth, don't tell me he hasn't. And I'm going to just expose that because I, I got from his church's website, Grace to You, whatever his website is, articles from him and army going through this point by point where he is um, trying to rebuke easy believism, which is the true gospel, which is salvation. And so it's not that he doesn't know it. It's not that he's ignorant. It's not that he's never heard it before. He's heard it and, and you know, whether or not he understands it, he's heard it, he rejects it, and he's teaching a works-based salvation. And when you call out people like that, it's, it, you know, think about, think about Satan himself, right? A lot of people think of the devil or Satan as being like real evil looking with horns and a pitchfork, right? But that's not how he looks in reality. Satan looks like an angel of God, which is, you know, an angel of light, Lucifer, comes from the word of light, loose. And, you know, in appearance, in physical appearance, he's a very beautiful creature. But you need to label someone like Satan and bring that name down so that people can understand and make him into a monster so that people understand how dangerous he really is. So that you're not deceived into thinking that like, oh, well, he's really not that bad. Oh, he looks pretty beautiful. He looks pretty nice. He talks and sounds okay. It's the same way you call out a pedophile, right, and turn them into a monster. Does anyone have a problem calling a pedophile a monster? No, we need to do things like that so that people realize, no, this guy's really, really bad and really, really wicked. They may sound real suave in their speech. They may sound real personal. They might have a good personality and be able to talk to people. And, and you think, oh, well, he's kind of a nice guy. I don't see any problem with him. No, he's really a monster, right? So they, they need to be brought to that level so that everyone's just real clear and you don't just kind of let yourself slip and think, well, he's really not that bad. John MacArthur is one of these people, okay? And as we get into this, you'll see why it's so important. Because when you're damning people to hell, that's really, really bad. Right. When what you're teaching is literally, if people subscribe to what you're teaching and believe what you're saying, you're going to be sending souls to hell. Right. That, is, that is way worse than even the worst temporary, you know, uh, uh, pain and discomfort and things that people could go through here is damning souls to hell because that's an eternity. There's no getting out of that. It doesn't stop. It doesn't end. 